what is going on YouTube? In today's video, I wanna talk about something. So, I'm in the midst of cleaning these pistons out and I discovered something very crazy that's gonna change the direction of my build. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, this is Chance's Garage, where we're doing all kinds of crazy things. I'm building this motor, which we're about to talk about, to throw in that car for everyone that's new. So, this is my first time ever swapping a vehicle, first time working on a motor. So, I'm still learning as I go. So, let's go ahead and get right into what I'm talking about. So. Um, as I'm cleaning these pistons off, I originally thought this motor was a 5.3 liter. And with that, 5.3s have dish pistons, um, they have a bigger crank, and I believe they have either bigger or shorter rods, one of them, I don't remember. But I looked at this piston and it was a flat top. And I was like, huh, the place I bought it from said it was a 5.3. So I'm like, okay, now I'm kind of curious because I'm already buying parts and a lot of the things are similar on a 5.3, but the internals, like the crankshaft bearings, all that kind of stuff is not. So I almost started buying that stuff, which would have been pretty bad. So one of the ways to know whether your motor is a 4853 is number one, the pistons. But another way, which will immediately tell you, is the crankshaft. So on my crankshaft, as we look here, I'm like, huh, the difference in the crankshafts on the 48s and 53s is the casting number on the 48 is 482 is the last three. And then on the 53, the casting number is 512, I believe. And I was looking all over my crankshaft because I'm like, where do they put the casting number? So right down here, you can see that it says 482. So I indeed have a 48, which a lot of people be like, well, that's kind of a bad thing. You got ripped off. But in my case, for what I'm trying to do, this might actually be a good thing in disguise because I do plan on boosting this motor. I do. I wanted to rev it out higher. This being a 4.8 actually might be better for that. Um, I don't know everything about these motors, but I know that with the rotating assemblies in the 4.8s, you can rev them out higher. But the pistons being flat top pistons, I think they're a little bit better for boost as well. So the only area of concern I really have is this sloppy stage three cam I have sitting right here. I believe that might be a little big for my application, but at the same time, it'd probably, just, it'd probably still be fine. Worst case scenario, I have to go buy another $200 cam to go with my build and sell the one I have brand new. So I'm not worried about that really, but this is a 4.8 and I just wanted to make a quick video talking about that. Um, so I'm not 5.3 swapping this car, I'm 4.8 swapping it, which means, I don't know, I can probably have the same goals. It might just take a little bit more turbo or PSI to do it. So, I mean, I'm not mad that this is a 4.8 at all, again, because where I lose displacement, I gain the ability to rev the engine out more. So. There's a lot of research that I have to do because everything I've looked up has been based on a 5.3. So we're gonna figure all that out, but I wanna give y'all a quick little, quick little update on my first piston I'm cleaning up here. Um, we put some 
put some oven cleaner on it and it's cleaning up pretty good so it doesn't look that bad still got a lot more work to do but I'm gonna keep cleaning this and when I get done we'll be back so I'll make a video of me cleaning my 4.8 pistons and we'll do it but I was kind of I've been suspicious of this motor since the last video when I pulled the rods I don't know if I just mentioned that but I've been I've been suspicious since then because I saw the flat top pistons I'm like five threes don't come with flat top pistons what's going on here and sure enough this is a 4.8 liter so I'm actually a little bit more excited that this is a 4.8 because I believe it's gonna work better for what I'm doing. Yeah. New, again, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And everyone that's watching this, I need y'all to like this video. If you made it this far, like the video. Um, my video is getting like five likes and I have 100 views. So, haven't pressed that like button by now, go ahead and press it. I'm telling you to right now. So, thank y'all for watching this video. This build is getting crazier by the day and y'all take it easy. And I'll catch y'all on the next video.